few months ago, I tried the demo of the RC20, which was a bad idea for my bank account because the moment I put it on one of my tracks, I was like, I have to have this. But then I see there's a new Max for Live device called Color, which apparently does a similar thing to the RC20. I thought I'd better compare them. Hey guys, welcome to the video. If you're new, hit that subscribe button, give it a like, and I hope you enjoy seeing some of the sounds that you can get out of the RC20. So I mean, the first thing to do is record a track. I wanted to try it on a few different types of instruments, so I threw together this guitar loop, recorded a few piano parts, and smacked out some drums on the machine. It turns out, by the end of the track, I didn't actually like the drums that I did on the machine. The hi-hat is not doing it for me, but it's baked into the, into the part right now. So if I do something with this beat, <laughs> the drums will need to be redone. So let's have a listen to the beat and then I'll show you some of what's going on. I made this track was to experiment with the RC20 compared to the new Color Max for Live device that you can download for free from Ableton's learning page thing at the moment. I was going to try a bunch of different settings, but after putting the Color device on one of my sounds once, I was like, nah, this is not for me, this sucks. <laughs> That's the RC20 device on my electric guitar. I'm using this Flux Chorus preset. Without the RC20 device, it sounds like this. Here is the, uh, <laughs> here's the color device. To me it sounds kind of harsh and extreme and I, I can't be bothered messing around with it. One of the things I like about the RC20 is that it's so stupidly easy to use. But let's, you know, let's try one of these other ones, uh, VHS. Oh, no! Ugh. What the heck was that? This is what the default VHS setting sounds like on the RC20. And that's, that was it for me. When I heard that comparison between the RC20 and the Color Max for Live device on the same preset or the VHS emulation, I was like, nah, I am so glad I got RC20. So yeah, I mean, I think we can go and uh, remove, <laughs> remove the Color device from my session now. But for the purpose of showing some of the RC20's other presets, I put one on <laughs> basically everything in this track. So here is my keyboard sound. Without the RC20. So this one's called Pad Magic. Just adding a little bit of all of this stuff. magnitude knob is basically a dry wet knob. Which is really nice for fading in how much of it you want. On my main bass sound here, I've got this gimme sub setting with it. 
الثالث On this one, I've turned the magnitude down a little. I really just like this one for adding a little bit of color. Just, just altering the sound slightly. It was nice. On the drums. Just got a vinyl preset. Without it. And with it. I thought it just added a little something. So let's let's go through and turn off all of the RC20s in this track. There's four of them and see what this sounds like. And now let's turn back on all of the RC20s. Maybe I want a little bit less of the RC20 on the guitar. Let me turn the magnitude down. I'm actually going to, uh, whoa. I think I'm gonna try automate the magnitude. One thing that I did with this track was actually reverse the guitar parts. Just straight reverse them that flip the chords, flip the harmonies. I thought it sounded really cool. One of the things that happens when you do that is that it creates some entirely new harmonies because the bass line was still playing the same thing, but now it's playing the inverted chords over top of that same bass line. So I'm just gonna turn up the magnitude for all of the parts where I have reversed my guitar. And uh, let's, let's have a listen to Let's have a listen to how that sounds. today guys i hope you enjoyed it if you've got rc20 let me know in the comments and let me know if you enjoy using it what do you think of it if you haven't already make sure you subscribe to the channel give this video a like and we'll catch you guys next week